Hey everyone, we're here today in Waco Memorial Park Cemetery to pay our respect to a country music legend, Mr. Hank Thompson. So if you'd like to find where he's located, just find that main office and go directly to the right as you're coming in in section E here. You'll find him around the bend here. This is his marker right here. Hank Thompson, September 3rd, 1925 to November 6, 2007. The top, it's got a few depictions of him on here. And uh, I'll, I'll include a picture of a better image of his marker here because this has got a little bit of oxidation and whatnot on it. But at the top it says, There is a new star in heaven and that he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1989 and he was a singer and songwriter and then towards the bottom it says our treasures there's a picture there on the left and on the right I think that's he and his wife 37 years that they were married September 17th 1970 and uh, she will be here as well Henry William Thompson, or Hank as he was better known, was born in Waco, Texas on September 3, 1925. He was interested in music at an early age and won several amateur harmonica contests. After seeing Gene Autry perform, he switched to playing guitar and singing. His parents bought him his first guitar at a secondhand store for only $4. By the time he was 16, he was performing locally and had his own radio show. He enlisted in the U.S. Navy during World War II and was a radio man. While in the Navy, he kept performing and also pursued a degree in electrical engineering from Princeton University. After the Navy, he went right back to performing. He became a pioneer in country music who created his own sound by blending western swing and honky-tonk. He became the host of a variety show in Oklahoma City in the 1950s, and it was the first one ever in color. He was the first country music performer to have their own show in Las Vegas. He had the first ever live country music album. He was the first ever country singer to have a corporate sponsor. In 1952, his hit song, The Wild Side of Life, spent 15 weeks at number one on the Billboard chart. He had the number one country song of the year and was the number one artist of the year. Hank's band, the Brazos Valley Boys, were voted number one country music band for 14 years by Billboard. During his career, he sold more than 60 million records over six decades. He had 29 top 10 hits and 19 others in the top 20. Some of his other hits were Humpty Dumpty Heart, Rub a Dub Dub, A Fooler A Faker, Waiting in the Lobby of Your Heart, and A Six Pack To Go. He was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1989 and the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1997. There are many artists who can point to him for inspiration from Vince Gill to George Strait and even Bob Dylan who once commented to Newsweek that Hank was one of his major influences. His last performance was on October 8, 2007 in Waco, Texas. In mid-October of that year, he was admitted to the hospital for shortness of breath. He had been a smoker all of his life and he was diagnosed with lung cancer. He canceled the rest of his 2007 tour and he was released from the hospital and placed on hospice. He died on November 6, 2007 at the age of 82 in Keller, Texas at his home. This is his final resting place. Over here next to him are his parents, Jewel Thompson and Ida Wells Thompson. And you can see where Jewel was a U.S. Navy World War I veteran. He was born in 1893 and passed away in 1978. There's also a Thompson family marker there. And if you noticed her maiden name Wells there, I believe she has a brother here. 
and uh, John Halbert Wells, Staff Sergeant U.S. Army, passed away December 24th, 1974. And then we have Henry Thompson here, Texas Fireman Second Class in the United States Naval Reserve in World War I, 1885 to 1961. You can see kind of a corner marker T right there. Don't see any anywhere else here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time. If you like these types of videos, please check out some of the others that I've done.